some demons, yeah, they creeping in my soul Got a past, it ain't leaving me alone My mind been racing, I learned it's a lonely road Dear God, dear God, please tell me what you know Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Aura If I'm talking a little bit weird, it's because I have really bad allergies right now And my throat hurts, my and I have like the worst runny nose ever My mouth is super dry, I, I, I sneeze every 5 seconds Anyways, oh jeez Anyways, today I'm going to be telling you guys a story about the time I ran away from home Now, no, I did not run away for like a week or like a month I was only gone for like a few hours, maybe even if that, maybe an hour But anyways, it started off as normal morning me and my family always used to argue and this day I kind of got fed up with it and I ended up going to my grandma's just to get away from you know my family for a while and note this was whenever I was super sensitive and now we still always fight but I just don't phase it and just go in my room and play xbox <laughs> anyways I was at my grandma's and I was thinking of just leaving and going to my friend's house which doesn't sound bad but whenever you're like seven years old thinking about walking across town that's not too healthy now I knew my friend had a basketball game but I went anyways just because I thought I would make it in time to be able to go to the game with him. On my way there, I saw a cop, right? He was just parked on the side of the road and he saw me walking, like literally just a random seven-year-old walking through town. And he ended up just saying hi to me and waving. And even the guy that was he that he was arresting, like waved to me. It was just really awkward. They were just both so happy for some reason. I, I don't know. But I waved back and I just kept on walking. Now this was pretty close to his house. So I was basically there at that point and I'm pretty sure my mom called the cops right after I passed this guy. Anyways, once I got to his house, I knocked on his door and his dad answered. And I was like, yo, is Alex there? Then he said, no, he went to his basketball game. And I got really sad at that point. But Alex actually had neighbors that I was like semi friends with. I sometimes hung out with. Not often, but I would hang out with them every now and then. But this is the point whenever the cops were called and they were drug dealers. So they kind of had like the police police sensor to know like what calls come in and the thing came on and it said they were looking for a missing child and they said my name and age the kid's mom asked if it was me and I panicked and kind of said no now she knew I was lying because I was really bad at lying she ended up calling my mom my mom came over and picked me up then everything was good this was just a really scary situation for my mom and sister I've kind of learned my lesson I probably would not run away from home ever again <laughs> I was just being a sensitive little pussy and I ran away because I thought my life was horrible even though it wasn't anyways mom always yells it's just in her nature but now I could just ignore her you know but back then I would just get super salty and just you know want to fuck a homeless girl anyways I'm glad everything went right at that moment who we'll know what would have happened if I got to my friend's house a few minutes before or that kid's mom didn't have a police scanner that was just it's scary even just thinking about that nothing probably would have happened I would probably would have got home safe anyways but still anyways it's been your boy aura and I kind I got a plan not not a plan but a planned video coming up in the next few days actually in like the next week I'll probably upload it like a week from now it's gonna be about the new season three operators in rainbow six siege now i've had a few days to play with them and i'm basically just gonna put down like the facts like 100 legit facts about the characters i'm not gonna like sugarcoat it or anything i'm like just gonna straight up throw down the facts on you anyways it's been your boy aura and don't run away from home like an idiot Laters. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly like say this. Um, so I've been wanting to try like a new thing out. I don't know if you guys are gonna be down for it. It will make it to where I can upload a lot more often, but I'm not sure if you guys want it on this channel because this channel is like has decently edited videos and like actually put my time into these videos but i was thinking of uploading just like raw gameplay to like maybe a second channel or i could put it on this channel and just put it in a certain playlist on this channel in case you guys want to see that but like obviously like the gameplay wouldn't really have commentary in it or really anything it might have like a little bit of editing but not much and obviously it'll have like my intro and outro if i do make a second channel though i'll probably make a whole new intro well not a whole new intro but i'll rework my intro just a little bit for that channel but anyways let me know what you guys want to see because i'm kind of down to like upload
upload more. It's just that whenever I do these types of videos, it's just harder to like get the clips for and get the gameplay and make the commentary and actually edit it. And it's just like a really long process and it'd be better if I could upload constantly, but also like keep on doing my normal stuff to my normal schedule. So again, let me know if you guys want to see that. And anyways, it's been your boy Aura and yeah, I've already said this, so I'm just a fucking idiot now. And, and bye. Yeah. White cell jeans with the shoes Blacked out cool for the cruise, yeah West End nigga, West End nigga No side kid with the moves, yeah That bitch think she bad, yeah Damn she 